<laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm back. I think I just pulled some muscles in my ribs doing that. Ow. I, uh, I had to get a bottle of water, and I almost didn't make it back in time. Damn! I couldn't even get my Florida tap water in. Guess what? Whoever joined... It's probably mom. Hello, mom, maybe. I've got an unboxing from Hong Kong and some thrift store finds. I went out and did some more thrift storing last weekend. Uh, really fucking far out. And uh, it wasn't as great as I thought it would be. Isn't that great? It's not. It's not at all. But, I ordered something from Hong Kong. That's in China. And, uh, it was a, I can't, oh shit, I, I was supposed to look at the fucking name of the website. Oh, whore. It's, it's double D something. I'll put it in the description down below after after I get done. I forgot, okay? This killed me. This bottle of water. I was like, I need a bottle of water. I don't have time to make my Florida tap water. It was like two, 159 and uh, I just ran and got a bottle of water. There was two cold bottles of water. Thank you, Mom. And... Um, I had to refill it so that there would be cold water for later. Why am I bothering you with this? I don't know. Because I didn't find that much, that's why, and fuck it. Fuck it. That's the moral to this story. So the website is called Double D Something. I've always wanted to find... I love Asian horror. And my little buddy Aunt Dimitri came up, and we watched a shitload of it. Um, but I've always wanted to find an Asian website where I could get Asian horror before us assholes over in the United States got it. And uh, so that, you know, I would think, you know, like once a month, and I would love to do this as a club instead of those... Those gay fucking boxes that are, you know, that you get the subscription to where they send you out the fucking lame shit that you don't want for 20 bucks a fucking month, 30, whatever they are. This would be just Asian horror exported once a month to us dickheads in the United States. So we don't have to wait for Hollywood to fucking buy it and distribute it over here. We can fucking get it. All you people with multi-region players. The rest of you people, you should fucking have one. If you're a horror fan, you should have one. That's not good. That's just like pure fucking spring water or something. Why is it so clear? There's nothing floating in it. I mean, Florida tap waters. You have to experience. So, I'm not doing the club. I don't think there's enough people like me. I don't think there's... There may be people like me that don't have multi-region fucking players and they fucking suck and fucking... It's out. It's out. So we're moving on. I always wanted to find... There's some Asian places, Asian websites that do, you know, they do export Asian horror to the United States. But, you know, they're like, hey, bend over. Do you want this? Because, you know, lube up the fucking fist. Grab your ankles if you want it. Because, like, it's like $35 for a fucking DVD. And, you know, we're going to charge you a bunch of fucking shipping, too. Lame. I'm not 
I'm not doing that. I wish I could remember the name of that website because it sucks. I don't know what that was. Um, it sucks. And there's uh, like one fucking eBayer. I think he's from a Ch- China or Japan or something. And he does the same thing. Like the prices are fucking retarded. And, uh, you know, you just can't fucking afford it. It's not feasible. Until I found this double D mystery website that I forgot to fucking look up the name of. It'll be down below. Um, cheap. Like, really cheap. They send everything in the e-packets, which I, you know, I've seen the e-packet. I don't know what that is. Why can't, can we get e-packets? I need to research the e-packet. Because apparently fucking, like, Asian countries can send shit over here for nothing via these e-packets. I want in. Because I could send prizes out to people. All you people from other countries that entered my VHS contest, which I fucking forgot to bring the tape out to show everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was going to do that. Fuck. I could send out fucking... Hey! It's Tony! Hello, Tony. Welcome, sir. Um... Yeah, I could send out I could send out uh, contest prizes to people in you know Asia and Europe if I could only if I could only harness the power of the e packet. I don't know I don't know what that is. So my first e packet experiment experience came from fucking Hong Kong, and uh, the whole thing the whole shebang for the a brand new. Tony says hot chocolate covered Jesus. I'm actually here for a live video. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? With all your responsibilities that you're clearly not, uh, you know, you're not taking, you're not doing. You motherfucker. They picked the wrong guy. You're watching live videos. Anyway, I'm just joking. Um, so, like record time, twenty dollars with everything. And Tony's got Fridays off. Wow, that's awesome. Good for you. And the weekend, I'm assuming, too, right? Saturday and Sunday. So record time. Like, literally, like, if you bought something on eBay from the United States, it would probably take you longer to get that than an e-packet from fucking Hong Kong. It came so fast. I didn't, I like pulled this out of the mail. I, I bought it and uh, I was like, you know, that's, that's the end of that. You know, but I'm sure by 2018 I'll have it. And I, you know, I was just wrote it out of my head. I wasn't expecting too much. It came like the next week, the week after, something ridiculous. Is it packaged great? Tony, thanks for sharing my video. I love you. Is the package great? No. It's, uh, you know, it's basically a lot of bubble wrap wrapped in, like, like one of those really cheap, like, office garbage bags or something. I don't know. With this, you know, this is nice. I mean, the handiwork on this, I mean, well done. The Asians are crafty. So, I'm going to open it now and uh, right in front of you guys and see what the deal is. So Tony has Fridays off. You can uh, you can come back every Friday at 2, Tony. Lucky for you. Isn't that great? Wow. This is just a failure right on camera. Damn. This is sexy. Anything inside? See, it's just it's just like bubble wrap. They wrapped it in plastic and then did like a little fucking origami plastic. This is probably another garbage bag that they cut into a strip or something. It, but it's okay. It's okay. It came all the way from Hong Kong. It's a 2017 uh, movie from Hong Kong. This website doesn't just have movies from Hong Kong. They have movies from everywhere. Thailand and um, Japan, Korea, uh, 
I think probably mainly Hong Kong, because that's where they're from. Uh, it's called The Sleep Curse. I mean, I am... Tony's usually balls deep in grading essays, but Monday's Labor Day, so four-day weekend. Good for you. Good for you. I didn't mean to imply that you're lazy. You don't have to defend yourself. I'm just joking. You're, you work harder than me, I'm sure. Look at this. Isn't this great? I mean, I've said before, you could put Asian characters on a dog turd and put it on eBay, and I would probably buy it. There is something so extremely fucking sexy about that to me that uh, I'll pretty much buy anything. But um, this is the DVD. It was cheaper. And then I'm buying it sight unseen. This is just like a brand new Chinese Hong Kong movie, horror movie. It could suck. I mean, I, I'm not ponying up the Blu-ray money, although it was on Blu-ray too. Um, but I mean, look at this. There's some kind of elaborate slipcase in... It's like... Yeah, a slipcase. There's the side. It is fucking sexy. It came so fast that I ordered another movie. There's a great um, Thai movie called Phobia that uh, my friend Dimitri and I watched when he was up. And... Uh, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a great anthology, but it's fucking, you know, like the CGI is pretty bad. You have to suspend disbelief a little bit, but the stories are really good. So, uh, I've always wanted to get part two and guess what? The website that I don't know the name of that I got this from also had that part two phobia part two. And, um, I ordered it. It's like $11 for the DVD with shipping from Hong Kong. And I, I suspect it'll be here like next week or something. The Asians are awesome. And their horror is better than ours. Did I say that? I don't know. I love all horror. Um, I was going to say something else about this that I just forgot. Hmm... Oh, I ordered this little honey. And I'm like, you know, I want to be, I want to, I'm going to review it. I'm going to watch it and review it. It's 2017 from Hong Kong. I'll be on the cutting edge. I will be the only one of, of a handful of people who f have this, this horror movie from Hong Kong and reviewed it. On their app, or blog, or fucking Facebook, or YouTube, or whatever. I saw it on a torrent. <laughs> what was I doing on a torrent? None of your fucking business. But, right after I ordered it, it was like a brand new post on a torrent search engine. Fuck! So, you know... I could have saved my 20 bucks, I guess, and reviewed it off of there. But, is the fucking, is the file this sexy? No. No, that crappy file that somebody, somebody, you know, like, ripped this and probably fucked up the compression and the audio sucks and the subtitles blow. I, I got that that I'll be masturbating to later. So, on to thrift store finds. Is everybody excited? I went way out to like way north of here and uh, like literally, and I joke you, I am not joking, I kid you not. I went, like it, how do I put this delicately not to fucking offend the people of Northern Florida? It's like a leper colony full of fucking retards. There. That's how, that's perfect. Um, I, my wife and I literally went into a thrift store up there and like the fucking cashier was retarded. Like he was, 
I don't know what his deal was. He could make change, probably better than me, you know? But, like, he talked like this, like, literally. Like, he, I asked him how much VHS were, and he was like, VHS are usually 50 cents. Today they're 25 cents because they're 50% off. Like, I heard him before I did that. I heard him across the store. Somebody came in and was like, hey, Timmy. Timmy. And, um... He was like, hi, Roger, like fucking yelled it, scared the shit out of me. And that's just the way he talked. I don't know what his fucking deal was. And in there, we, my wife and I saw a man who was half human, half elephant. I, I am not joking, like freak show. This dude was so fat and bloated with the fucking diabetes that, um, his skin was scaly, like a fucking pachyderm. Uh, I don't even know how he was standing or getting around. We saw him in another thrift store down the road. He got around like he was driving. I don't know. I mean, they can't. he couldn't have felt anything in those fucking feet and legs. It was disturbing. He had sneakers on that were just like blown out. Like my wife said, like, he just never takes those off. There's no way he could get them off. <laughs> he just grew into them until, like, the seams on them started splitting. That's what it looked like. Fucking freak show. Tony says, are you sure he wasn't just a hand job under the counter? I don't know what that means. So I'm going to continue. Um, thanks for the contribution. Uh... <laughs> So, this is the land of lepers and retards, like I said before. But, I told the story on a previous video about how I went there and found Mexican Santa, Santa Claus from Mexico, the movie, on DVD for the first time ever. I've always wanted to see it. Oh, the loud guy was getting a hand job under the counter. I don't think anyone's ever touched the man's penis, Tony. Thanks for explaining, Mom. I, you know, like, I, I, not so smart. Um, I, no one's touched the man's penis. And if somebody did, like, they would hear it, like, fucking five counties away. He would be like, oh my god, I'm coming! I'm coming! Like, it would be fucking, it would be terrible. So... I went back, I, I, I found Mexican Santa Claus on DVD, I put it, I switched it out with a brand new f case, because the case was all fucked up, I opened a shrink wrapped case in the thrift store, and, um, and put it in the, the brand new case, it was gorgeous, I thought I fucking took it with me and purchased it, I got home and it, I couldn't find it, I either dropped it on the way out of the store, um, or I left it there, like, I don't know what happened to it, and it hurts me, still to this day. I don't want to talk about it. So I went back to the specific thrift store, because I don't forget stuff like that, specifically looking for Santa Claus, and it was gone. Isn't that a heartwarming story? Ah, uh, socks. I waited too long. Maybe I really did drop it on the way out of the store. I don't know. It'll keep me up at night now that I'm talking about it. So, without further ado, I know Tony loves my videos to be long. So I was just, I'm stalling for time. He'll get fired. Tony will get fired because my video's so long and he can't grade papers. I didn't get that much. Northern Florida, thrift stores, Dementia 13 on VHS. Um, of the public domain movies that have a zillion different releases from a zillion different distribution companies, uh, Dementia 13 is one of the ones that I collect. Francis Ford Coppola, his first movie, and it's great. That's awesome, right? Um, not a bad design. It's got a little bit of writing on it. Uh, I got it super cheap. 
And uh, I don't have this cover. So, win for me. I did get a bunch of stuff to resell. Resell? Did I say it? I'm saying it again. I'm going to resell this stuff. Um, that's not horror or anything cool remotely, but like worth some, you know, kids movies and stuff. I, I, it, it comes in twos, I always say, right, Mom? Hatchet for a honeymoon. Mario Bava, I had never seen the movie. I recently bought it um, on VHS, a nice media copy of it, and I haven't watched it yet. But then, uh, lo and behold, this was a dollar at a thrift store. It's not, you know... Damn. What the fuck is going on here? You gotta be smarter than the case, that's the thing. It's not like, you know, it's not a fucking Arrow release, clearly. Um, but it does have special features, I'll read them to you. It has scene selection, uh, Dolby Digital Sound, and it's also PC and Mac compatible. Wow, that's a, I mean, that's like... You could choke a horse with those special features. Amazing. Really good stuff. And you would think, like, with the, those lame special features on the back, you'd be like, well, that's probably, like, you know, 90s or something. It's 2005. <laughs> Crappy. I mean, I know 2005 is a long time ago now. Another movie I haven't seen, The Phantom Creeps. Tony says, you know, you've got a quality DVD when it has fucking scene selection. I love when it's just that. And then you and then you go into the DVD menu and it's just like, you could make a better one on your computer, like back 10 years ago. It's just like the crappiest title screen. And then, you know, like scene selection, play, scene selection, or still gallery. There's another classic one, still gallery. The Phantom Creeps! You're looking at this and going, wow, that's a sexy clamshell VHS. You're wrong! Tony, it's a Betamax! It's a sexy Betamax of The Phantom Creeps. Another movie, like I said, that I haven't seen. Um, Bela Lugosi. It was a serial. Not like fucking Lucky Charms. It was a serial that they played in between movies back in the fucking day. 30s and 40s and 50s? I don't know if it went that late, but... um. So, like, they condensed these the serial down, which is probably multi-hours, multi into, like, movies. They did it for pretty much all of them. And uh, I haven't seen the serial or the movie... But uh, sexy Betamax clamshell is what I can say. I can tell you about that. This was a dollar. The Theater Bazaar. I have seen this movie, and it's pretty good. It's a pretty good anthology. It stars um, Udo Kier, and the 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 segments are good. Really good. There's a really gross one called Sweets. Fucking just, it like almost made me throw up. But if somebody can make me almost throw up, job well done, sir. Job well done. This is a really crappy case. It's like made out of veggie plastic or something. But uh, don't have it, and it was a dollar. You know, like you don't. You don't typically see good movies on DVD in a thrift store. To put it bluntly, especially like newer stuff. Tony? Wee! I'm so excited. That's right, I said we. Not with an E, not with E's, but I's. I found this. I'm a Wii owner now. 
I'm a Wii collector. <laughs> All right, Tony, Wii. <laughs> yes. Dead Space Extraction. $1.50. Uh, it was supposed to be $3, but it was $1.50, and uh, it's on my list of horror movies that I want to play on Wii. Now that I'm a Wii owner, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> I now officially, I'm a owner and collector of the lamest game console ever fucking made. It does, it fits. It fits. I'll make it cool by buying good games for it. I'll force it to be cool. I need to get GameCube controllers. Tony, get on that. Hit those, hit those yard sales for me. I'll trade you for something. So this is funny. I'm at this thrift store, and uh, like all their fucking all their games are in the you know the treasure island. That's what that's what Goodwill calls it, treasure island, the the glass display case where they keep all the valuable stuff that they don't want people to steal. So I'm like, I see this, and I you know I was, got very excited because it's definitely like I said on my list, and. Uh, I was like, you know, it's in the glass case. What the fuck? It's going to be like $10 or something stupid. Somebody's been on eBay pricing stuff that they got for free with no overhead. And they pay no taxes. They're going to get on eBay and sell it to me for $10. But I asked. I was like, you know, like, I almost didn't. Because I was just like, you know, it's a, it's in the Treasure Island at the surf store. Do I want to hear? I'll get angry if they say it's ten dollars, and then I'll just not want to buy what I had in my hand. So uh, I asked. I was like, you know, how much? How much are the video games? Oh, they're three dollars normally, but today they're fifty percent off, so it's a dollar fifty. And I was like, can you get me the fucking this one? Isn't that a fun story? Whatever. You tell stories live. It's not easy. There's no editing, Tony! In all fairness, Tony never very rarely edits his videos on YouTube. This is my, this is my favorite find. Is it the most valuable? No. Is it the most collectible? No. Do I love it the most? Fuck yes! I do, because I'm a huge Kolchak fan. And uh, I have a pretty decent collection of Kolchak. I have all the series on DVD. I have a bunch of the like uh, Columbia House special edition VHS collection that they released. I have uh, multiple forms of the movie. I have like a kind of. I don't. I did not have this. This is two episodes. A really nice tape in great shape. Two episodes of Kolchak, two good ones. The Ripper and the Vampire. So, uh, my best find for me has nothing to do with cash. It's all about Kolchak. I have a homosexual crush on, crush on Kolchak. And to wrap it up, Here's the napkin I blew my nose on before I started the video. That cost me not, well, it did cost me something. You know, 600 divided by $3 equals... Tony, are you a math professor? Get on that. I need help. So, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. That's everything I found. That's not great news. But for next week, I'm not going to be here. I'm not doing this video. Um, I am going out this weekend to some thrift stores. I'm going to lay low, if you will. Because next Thursday, if the hurricanes permit... Tony's not a math professor is what he's telling me. He said numbers bad. Yes, numbers are bad. Numbers not my friend. Me no like numbers. Um, next Thursday, hurricanes permitting, we're going to Indianapolis.
For Horror Hound Weekend, that's right. And uh, while I won't be here to do this video on Friday, I will be enjoying myself much more than doing the video. And you guys will just have to suffer without me. But you don't really have to. Because I'm going to be doing live coverage on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, it'll get, uh, you know, ported over to Twitter. But, um, yeah, fuck Irma. There's a hurricane out there. Hurricane Irma that could really piss on our parade next week. If she chose to. I'm not getting upset about it yet. <laughs> it would suck. So, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be setting up a live feed on the app. So that all my Instagram and Facebook posts and videos will do that over to my 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 feed right on the fuck right on the front page of my my app so you can click on it and watch the Instagram video and the fucking uh I'll be writing reviews of the film festival movies I'll be uh you know doing videos I there may be some cock shots there will be drunkenness for sure but uh you can watch it either on the app or Facebook or Twitter, that's right. So, you, will you miss me? Of course you will. Because I won't be showing, you know, like, awesome things like this. And this movie from Hong Kong. And, you know, that. And my water bottle. And the snotty napkin. I won't be showing any of that. But I will be with you. You, you will be with me. In spirit. At Horror Hound Weekend. Horror Hound Weekends are the best cons. Horror Hound Weekend and um, Texas Frightmare. Top three. And uh, so I'm going to be showing you that. And my penis. So come back. Well, just pay, pay attention to Facebook and stuff. Get on the app. MonsterMovieApp.com Tony, thanks for stopping by. Everyone should go check him out at candycornapocalypse.storeenvy.com candycornapocalypse.storeenvy.com Tony will put his link in the bottom there. He'll put it in the comments and go check him out. He's got cool stuff. Really cool. You should check him out. So, uh, pay, you know, just follow me, you know, Twitter and Instagram and fucking all that. And get the fuck out of my house, everyone. Bye.